In Excel, a printing area needs to be defined before printing. The steps to define a printing area are shown on the screen. I will follow these steps to set the information shown on the screen as the printing area. First, I select the area to print. So, I select all the cells with information. Second, I click the tab Page Layout. Third, I click on Print Area. Finally, I click Set Print Area. The area to print is now selected. Let's see how the defined area would be printed on paper. To do so, follow the steps shown on the screen. I first click the file menu. Second, I click print. Third, I click the printer drop-down list and select my printer. Finally, I click Printer Properties and select the page size. As you can see, the selected area is shown in the preview area. The preview area shows how the selected area will be printed on paper. The left bottom corner tells us that Excel is displaying page 1 of the three pages. We can move to the next or previous pages by clicking the arrows next to the page number, like this. If you want to print the selected area on paper, click the button Print. Since I do not want to print the document yet, I just click the left arrow located on the upper left corner to go back to the workbook. There is another way to view how the selected area will be printed on paper. The steps shown on the screen will guide you to do just that. I first click View. Then I click Page Break Preview. And zoom out. We can see that Excel has split the selected area into three pages. Each page is surrounded by a blue line. This method shows how the selected area will be printed by displaying all pages at the same time. To return to the previous view, follow the steps shown on the screen. So, I first click View. Then I click Normal. As a result, the workbook was returned to its default view.